Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The individual comes face to face with a conspiracy so monstrous he cannot believe it exists. The American mind has not come to a realization of the evil which has been introduced into our midst. It rejects even the assumption that human creatures could espouse a philosophy which must ultimately destroy all that is good and decent. J. Edgar Hoover After years of denials, the mainstream media has decided to admit the deep state does exist. And apparently, it's awesome. At least according to this new video from the New York Times, it turns out the deep state is actually kind of awesome. The video itself is a six-minute strawman, presenting interviews with rocket scientists, as if they genuinely think that's what people mean when they refer to the deep state, then piling on insanely manipulative attempts to humanize the concept of the deep state by talking about these guys' hobbies and interests. It's cheesy and flippant, and every bit as cringe as it sounds. We went on a road trip to find out. As we met the Americans who are being dismissed as public enemies, we discovered that they are us. They like Taylor Swift. They dance bachata. They go to bed at night watching Star Trek reruns. They go to work and do their jobs, saving us from Armageddon. Let's state the obvious. When we talk about the deep state, we're not talking about people protecting children from exploitation in Chicago, and we're not talking about amiable Star Trek fans building life-saving rockets, and the New York Times video production team know this as well as we all do. We're talking about corrupt military and intelligence agencies with ties to big business who really control the government using elected politicians as sock puppets. We're talking about the machinery put in place which impoverishes the poor and undermines human rights to further authoritarian control over the people whilst facilitating and accelerating the transformation of public money into private profits. Maybe the people that do all that are also Spock-loving marathon runners. Maybe not. I don't care. I just like them to stop. The propaganda bait and switch is as pathetic as it is clumsy. They think that by putting human faces on the lowest and most amiable rungs of federal power, they can pretend it's nothing but love and light all the way through. By defending the defensible, they hope to give the indefensible a pass. The clumsy message of the video couldn't be clearer. In fact, here it is word for word from the New York Times. When we hear deep state, instead of recoiling, we should rally. We should think about the workers, otherwise known as our public servants, the everyday superheroes who wake up ready to dedicate their careers and their lives to serving us. These are the Americans we employ. Even though their work is often invisible, it makes our lives better. Golly gee, how adorable. In their narrative, the deep state is shallow people, like any of us just doing our jobs, everyday heroes for performing as parts in machinery making for a death march to Armageddon. The state is all we are nothing. Techno-fascism. As Yuval Harari said, humans are now hackable animals. The idea that humans have this soul or spirit, they have free will. That's over. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Anyway, I decided to take a look at the New York Times article and read some of the comments. The following was a part of the top-rated comment. Money that could be used to better all of society 
will go to billionaires who will do nothing but build bunkers and a joyless Elysium-style authoritarian dystopia, which Project 2025 represents. Please stop them. Vote blue for a better life. The commenters seem to have grasped at least a part of what is going on until they said, vote blue, Democrat, as if the billionaires they complain about have no influence over that party. It obviously has escaped them that their party of choice is fully behind building an authoritarian dystopia. The left-right paradigm false binary still really runs deep, even after the last four years, where both parties participated in adding bricks to the walls of a dystopian prison. Personally, I am old enough to remember all the way back to 2017 and the dozen different articles all explaining, in great detail, why the U.S. does not have a deep state at all. I wrote a long response to this at the time. Turns out they were all wrong anyhow. The U.S. does have a deep state after all. It's peopled by bachata dancing Swifties who save us from Armageddon, and we should be very grateful for it. It's all reminiscent of the meme that's been doing the rounds for years on how the formerly unthinkable is normalized in public discourse. One, that doesn't happen, and everyone who says it does is a conspiracy theorist. Two, that happens sometimes, but it's very rare. Three, that should actually happen more. Four, that is happening a lot, and it's a good thing. We are currently here. Five, people who don't like this happening are the problem. Guess that means we've got number five to look forward to. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.